Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys need to remove or replace spark plugs guys, you need the spark plug torque and spark plug gap on BMW guys, 3 series, I'm talking about generation F30, F31, F34 guys, we're going to explain all that today. That's the 3 series BMW from year 2012 to year 2019 guys. Before we start, let me introduce you to the channel. If you guys need to buy any parts, tools, let's say spark plugs, torque wrench, anything that we'll be using, we'll share the link in the description of the video below and you can see where you get, you can get all these tools and parts for a really good price and quick shipping as well. Another thing guys, every single car we get at the shop, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos, but specifically on this model BMW, this generation F30, we'll have more than 500 videos. Why we do all that? Pretty simple. Our mission here at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Now, let me show you what we have and what we'll be working on. Specifically, this is a 328 BMW, but uh, that's the N20 engine. Actually, the procedure should apply, I think, but always double check with your manual for the 320i as well. This is the 2.0 N20 N26 engine, uh, they're about, uh, about the same, not much difference. And uh, you will notice that we have our air filter box removed, ignore that, we're just doing some servicing on the BMW. And we decided to make a video about the spark plugs because many of you asked me about specifically uh, what to do you use, torque specs and spark plug gap as well. As if you have that engine guys, you know the timing chain is a weak spot and we have a complete video BMW N20 timing chain replacement and we'll be doing a timing chain on this one as well very soon. So uh, with, okay, actually you can see uh, with the air filter box removed, uh, just ignore that. Oh, next step, what we need to do, we need to remove the upper engine cover. It has three rubber bushings. So just pull up, grab on the front, slowly lift up and slide it out. You have three bushings, check it out now, one, two, three. These bushings, make sure that they stay actually guys on the, on the engine cover because sometimes they'll be stuck here or they will fall out and you need to remove them and install them on that cover. Next you have that foam piece, insulation. You will need to remove that one as well. Pretty simple, just grab and pull. After that guys, we're going to demonstrate on one cylinder. Now, uh, you can actually do that on all cylinders are pretty easy. You can even replace number four, I think. But if you cannot get to number four, you will need to remove that cover, that uh, uh, lower uh, windshield cow trim. We we'll have a video how to do that on the channel. Uh, pretty simple. It takes only a few, a few minutes to remove it and your engine will be completely open. So let's demonstrate on cylinder number one. This is your ignition coil. The spark plug is right under the ignition coil, guys. Now, you can get a vacuum, okay, little vacuum, or put a hose, little hose on the vacuum, and suck all the air, all the dust, okay, if you have dust accumulated here. So when you remove the coil, that dust is not going to fall in the spark plug hole. Uh, now, that, uh, that housing, uh, how you remove that ignition coil? Pretty simple, you have to lift this thing up and it's going to disconnect the wire. But if you guys, if it's stuck, what you need to do sometimes, you may break it, grab a little bit on the connector and push out at the same time okay lift up and pull the cable out and it's gonna come loose next you need to grab the ignition coil and just pull it out okay you can twist it a little bit it may be stuck that's your ignition coil inspect the spark plug hole make sure that there is nothing there okay everything's clean everything's uh, um, uh, you don't have any dust, anything that fell. This is a special 14 millimeter thin wall, 12 point socket for BMW spark plugs. I'll put the link where you can get it from for a really good price in the description of the video below. So you're going to come, okay. You're going to come now on the spark plug, find the spark plug. Okay, now, okay, we need to get a different, different extension because this is the one that actually moves. Okay, you can see the spark plug is all the way down there. A little bit longer extension. Perfect. Okay, right on the spark plug now. Okay, and the spark plug, okay, comes a little bit in an angle. Okay, just like that. So now we're going to go ahead, okay, and get it loose. Perfect. We're going to uh, explain about gap. Torque specs and all that, and where you can get uh, original 
or really good spark plugs for a great price i'll put guys the link in the description below okay it's almost coming out Almost there guys, just, okay, I think it should be any minute now, so, okay, it got loose, you can see how that tool grabs it, so that makes it really convenient, that's the N, NGK original, factory works, okay, in this BMW, and uh, this is the gap right here, uh, a little bit blacky because we've just been starting it here, okay for short period of time they don't have uh, time to actually get hot and you know kind of like uh, get whitish on the on the bottom and uh, uh, definitely guys okay we need to see if the gap is correct you can see what they look like so according guys to the manufacturer of the spark plug ngk i got on their website i checked the gap and according to the gap it says if you're using inches 0.03 two inches or that's equivalent to uh, uh, 0 0.8 millimeters 0 0.8 and other uh, people say that if you set them at around 0 0.7 0 0.7 millimeters which is uh, uh, close to 0 0.03 inches they actually even perform better so uh, we remove the factory plugs and our gaps okay is actually at zero 0.7 millimeters 0.7 millimeters that's a gap too amazing gap too i'm going to put the link in the description of the video below uh, makes it really easy actually to uh, to check your gap because you have everything okay from 0 0.1 0 0.5 all the way to actually one point something <coughs> some people apply anti-seize some don't it's up to you uh, and uh, later we're going to install the plug okay you can see how it's magnetic how it pulls it that too that's what i like about it so it pulls it like that we're going to install it and now we're going to share okay the, uh, the spark plug uh, torque and what to expect so now we're ready to install the spark plug okay make sure it's in make sure you don't cross thread it guys never start it with the two always start it by hand first do a couple revolutions at least by hand okay and uh, once you do a couple revolutions you can actually uh, go ahead okay and try with the two it's a very very thin wall socket but it's still a little bit catching on the cylinder head so if it doesn't go don't put okay much force on it so we're going to do that until it gets hand tight don't tighten it at all just until it stops moving and then uh, we're going to get our torque wrench this is a torque wrench uh, they're very inexpensive and uh, i'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get one for them uh, this one is in newton meters and also foot pounds guys so we have two settings and it's a click type wrench what that means it means that when you reach the torque that you have the wrench set uh, set at you're going to hear a click and your handle will move barely and that's when you need to stop immediately if you don't you're going to over torque it and you can severely damage your cylinder head guys and you may need a head replacement so now okay listen that's it right there so you can see this is guys uh, one well uh, torqued spark plug we're going to install the ignition coil push it all the way in and now the cable when you install it actually go and push it with your finger while you're closing the cap all you have to do put the top together and you're ready to go hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time